Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Donkey Kong Country 2 Diddy's Conquest. For today's episode, we'll be starting with Castle Crush, which I remember being a pretty difficult stage. Particularly because of, um... Well, this is an auto-scrolling stage, essentially, so I don't really need to explain that. Oh, here's a trick, by the way. Don't break this barrel right away. Just go ahead and smash it on this guy. Anyways, um... Concer uh, concerning recording, I found a few... Uh, I found that... I could actually prop up the microphone against a... If, you, if you've seen uh, seen my posts on Twitter, then you know that I've actually, like, ha have it tied to a dowel rod against... Uh, and have it have the dowel rod in place by a clamp, or vice, whatever you want to call it. In any case, it's for... it's supposed to be placed on a desk. <clears throat> Excuse me. I also found out that apparently one way to uh, reduce sibilant uh, consonants is to um, have the microphone pointed at a slight eh, at a slight angle away, like not to talk directly into it. So again, I'm learning. So, I mean, I, I obviously I'm going to reduce it even further once I actually get around to making my own pop filter, which um, Kyle from Full Grown Gaming has given me uh, as essentially giving me a recipe or whatever you want to call it on uh, tips for making one because he found yeah, he found them himself I guess which I'm sure is going to be really helpful for improving the quality of my audio even further than before by the way a trick for this stage is that uh, for that particular bonus stage is that yeah, while, while the zingers do die from touching the floor right there, they actually will, um, it, it won't count as you having killed them. I don't really know why, but that's just how it works. Anyways, as for things I've been up to lately, I guess I could say that I've been... I haven't really been... Well, hmm. I'm just trying to think of whether or not I should... I might as well talk about Dragon Age 2. Recently I started my file over on... So I started a new file on Dragon Age 2 after having beaten it. By the way, secret right here. Which leads into another secret. This is my, by, by far my favorite part of the stage because it give, it, you literally have free reign for a while. Uh, with the exception of this, of the right down here, DK token. For a long time, I had no idea where it was. Also, TNT. So you have two reasons to turn to the turn to squawks. Anyways, where was I? Oh yeah, Dragon Age Two. I might. I'm on next playthrough. I'm playing. I'm playing as the mage. Because I thought I'd like to have a different variety, and have a different variety to playing through the game again. And also, I'm one thing I'm doing different than last time is that when I played through last time, there was a bug in the game that prevented me from recruiting Isabella. If you know who that is, which um. Yeah, it was weird. <laughs> As for... I don't remember if I, if I mentioned this before, but... I'm not necessarily... <coughs> excuse me. Fond of the... I'm not really fond of the en ending of Dragon Age 2, because... Uh, the ending I got involved... Uh, me supporting the mages all the way through, essentially. Which, if you've played the game enough to like, not know, know the uh, different endings, then you probably know what I'm talking about. Anyways, it, seem, it seems like there was more to the story that I should have seen. I mean, I didn't get any... I haven't gotten any DLC because of... I'm just, uh, I'm just borrowing the game from a friend of mine, so I don't really have any reason to buy any DLC, if you know what I'm talking about. 
By the way, I don't know if those enemies actually... Like, you, if you can, if those particular ones, I think m m most of them that are like that, you can set them off early, like get them to throw their claw early, and I don't know whether or not that makes it any easier, but it certainly seems like it. But yeah, as you can see right there, zingers die from touching this thing. So let's see, what else about Dragon Age 2? Oh, that's something right there you can do. You could have, I could have done, but... I don't really care. Technically, I still could have gotten it, but I don't know. I don't really... It's not important. By the way... Ha! The only reason why I was able to avoid that was because I knew he was there. Anyways, um... But yeah, it's, it was kind of like, all right. I hate to hate to spoil the ending for anyone to do it. Oh, by the way, another secret here. Yup. Anyways, um, yeah, it was ba basically the game. Uh, game kind of ends like, all right, let's go find the hero, and then, then that's it. And then I'm like. Yeah? Is, is there more I'm missing? Are they going to continue? For all I know, they pro they might have done that as DLC, but... I don't know. Although, from what I understand, a lot of people didn't like Dragon Age 2, and... That, could, and that might have been one of the reasons. I wouldn't blame them, but... I, I definitely had a lot of fun throughout the game. Although sometimes it was kind of, for me it was a little too challenging at times. Like I played it, I played on normal difficulty, and I ended up having to turn down the difficulty for a couple of fights. Sometimes just because I didn't want to have to go through the whole thing all over again. One situation of having to turn down this difficulty was having to fight the the air shock. So, <laughs> I don't know why he jumped in there, except that he's stupid. That was stupid of me, but at least there's a barrel there. Oh, news. Oh, by the way, yeah, and down here you can get some free tokens if you ever need them. Oh, I didn't get the end, but I guess it doesn't matter, because, again, I'm not really... Surprisingly, I'm not really dying that much. Because this is... I'm playing through some of the more difficult stages besides the Lost World. Oh, they didn't... That was mean of them. Ah, that's another stage that I remember being quite difficult. Anyways, um, yeah, I think Dragon Age 2 has a lot of, uh, like, at very least it has some likable characters and a lot of r r rather amusing exchanges. By the way, this guy right here, he can knock away your lives. Like, he doesn't kill you or anything, he just makes your one-up balloons go away the same as the... By the way, I'm not exactly sure how these things work, because sometimes you'll be like... It's really weird. Makes me wonder what happened during. Uh, what, uh, what, how, what, uh, excuse me. What went on when, in, during coding? Know what I'm saying? Anyways, um. But yeah, I, I think I think one of my I think my favorite character by far though in Dragon Age Two is. Varric. Just because he's... Oh, what? Okay. That was a f some fail on my part. I guess we're overdue for some fail, though, so... Oh. 
Well, that's okay, because we can get a DK barrel again. I didn't bother getting it right away, just because I didn't feel like wasting time. Oh, that could have been... Okay, I meant to jump there. Well, that time I didn't get hit, so I guess it's alright. Anyway, um... But yeah, main reason I'm playing through Dragon Age 2 again is for trophies. Yeah, I know some people, I know lots of people probably play through the, have to play through Bioware's games like that, just because, uh, mostly for, um, you know, ultimate storylines, but unlocking trophies is fun, too, in my opinion, anyway. I'm sure other people agree. Anyways, this part right here actually is... Oh, slow down. But, yeah, this area is basically based around, um... Splitting paths. Now it's not. <laughs> By the way, you'll notice that. But as, far, as long as this stage has been going on, I still haven't come across a checkpoint. Oh, jeez. Oh, Ah, and here's a checkpoint. So I think that's probably the reason why I had such trouble with this stage as a kid. Not to mention these guys can be real jerks. As we've already discovered many times, I'm... By the way, between these two paths, I prefer this one. The other one is just a straight climb up, basically, but you have to dodge neckies. Like, it's three chains, you have to go up and keep going back and forth. I find it more, as a well, less of a challenge to just jump repeatedly rather than dodge neckies. Also, slightly more fun. By the way... Oh, oh over here. I'm not exactly sure how one is supposed to figure this out. I mean, this is about as secretive as you can get. I mean, there's not even a banana here to clue you in. There is, however, a slight hint over here about this right here. You see there's a doorway up there, but you might assume that's just a decoration, but actually... It's what you get, jerks. Shooting at me while I'm climbing something that's who does that who does that I'll tell you who campers insert Call of Duty joke here but yeah we've got 70 tokens now so in case you're wondering that means there's just five more left in the game oh I forgot that the zingers were gonna be there Anyways, um, which I say a lot, <laughs> after I'm done getting trophies in, oh, wow, done getting trophies in Dragon Age 2, I'm going to try for the infamous hard to the core achievement, or slash trophy for Dead Space 2, which admittedly I'm going to have to, well, at least you got to see what that looked like. Anyways, where was I? Oh yes, hard to the core. I'm gonna have to rewatch Kyle's let's play uh, uh, walkthrough. I guess I should say of hard to the core uh, of hardcore. Whom, if you don't know who Kyle is already, then why haven't you been listening? <laughs> From Full Grown Gaming. So yeah. Anyways, if you're if you need some tips for that, that's a good place to look. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. Uh, area, because, oh yeah, I think I got time. Toxic Tower. This is the most, inf this is the stage I was talking about before when I was complaining about Slime Climb. This is basically Slime Climb multiplied several times over in difficulty. If you touch that green um, 
toxic waste, I guess you could call it. You die. That's no, actually no. You get hurt. And if and actually, I guess I should say, I could say that you die because chances are, if you fall in that stuff, you are simply dead. Especially since some of these platforms are bees rather than platforms. Speaking of which, DK token, not quite so hidden this time, but still. The main thing for me that makes this stage hard is playing as the snake, because he bounces all the time. Not to mention, you have to hold down the A button just to... There's one thing I do like about controlling the snake, though, which is that, um... When you're in the middle of a jump, you're allowed to jump. So, like... Oops. Oh, jeez. When you like you do a regular hop from where you're standing around, you can jump off of that hop. And there's the checkpoint. You have to do a lot as the snake before you're allowed to play as a squawk. And essentially you want to kind of rush through this, or at least I want to rush through this because I don't want to have to deal with another secret. But this one doesn't lead to anything, so... I guess I can't really complain about that one. You'll notice there's a lot of slowdown in some, uh, when there's a bunch of enemies on the screen, but that's exclusively because of um, how the game is and Super Nintendo and whatnot. So it's not my computer lagging or anything, or the recording software, it's just the game lagging all by itself. Anyways, um, oh, and here we go with Squitter again. No. Oh. And one more secret one. Man, they really like hiding these things in, literally in the walls in this area. Man, seeing this spider thing reminds me of, and spider in the thorns thing reminds me of another stage later on. Oh crap. Yeah. There we go. Alright, now we're finally done with the Toxic Tower. Which, I made it look really easy, but as a kid, this st this freaking stage was my the bane of my existence. Alright, now we're finally going to take on Captain K. Rule and Stronghold Showdown. This this is the fight that we're, we're, we're going to... No regrets. No regrets. Alright, Donkey Kong, over here. Yeah. Hey, can't do that. You're not... Hey, you're not getting away from me. The flying croc. Now, instead of jumping right in, I'm going to go ahead and save. Oh, actually, you know what would be better would be... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, now we got that settled. I'm going to... Did I miss this? Oh, I did miss a bonus stage. I am an idiot. And, of course, I missed the DK token on that one stage. I'm probably going edit, to uh, edit out any kind of unnecessary backtracking that happens, so... Yeah. If, 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 I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to have to cut it and cut this out, so... Alright, there we go. I just realized what which one it was. So, whoa, going really fast here. There we go. All right, got that stage, and I'm gonna get this one out of the way too. So, I'm gonna cut here again. So, yeah, see you later.
Yes, there we go. Got it first try. Alright, yeah, so... That business, that unpleasant business is out of the way, so let's... Save here. And thank you for watching, this has been Let's Play Donkey Kong Country 2 Diddy's Kong's Quest, and... Yeah, hopefully I'll see you on the next episode. Bye.